Hello, my name is Mr. Asprey, and this is my NXL IGCSE Series 2. This is number 18. This is graph inequalities. Let's do it. So the first thing we have to do is draw these lines on here. So x equals 1.5 is a uh, vertical line going through the x uh, axis at 1.5, such that every point on that line has an x coordinate of 1.5. Y equals X is a uh, diagonal line which goes through um, all the coordinates which have the same numerical value, so 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4. And of course it has a gradient of 1, so for every 1 you go along, you go up 1. And this one, we could rearrange this uh, by moving the X to the other side and making it negative, and then plotting that line. Or we could do the cover method, which is, we say, what happens when X is 0? So let's cover that up. Well, we get Y equals 6. So we plot the point x equals 0, y equals 6. And then we say, what happens when y is 0? We cover that up, and that tells us that x is 6. So when y is 0, x is 6, we can plot that point. And then we can connect them up in a nice straight line. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to shade... It's, actually, we're not going to shade in the region. It says, show by shading on the grid the region that satisfies all the inequalities. So it's not asking us specifically to shade in that region. It just says use like a shading technique in order to find that region. And that's what I'm going to do. Because instead of actually shading in the bits which we want, which are x is greater than 1.5, so to the right of the line, I'm going to shade in all the bits which we don't want. So those are all the parts which are um, less than 1.5 of the x. And for here, those are all the points we want are the ones that are above the line, the diagonal line y equals x, this one here. So I'm going to shade all the bits we don't want, which are all the points below this line, like so. Uh, lovely. And then here, again, we want all the points which are less than the line, so below the line, which means I'm going to shade in all the points which are actually above the line, the points we don't want. And what you'll be left with is the region nice and clearly defined, which we label as R. Okay, uh, and next one we have x equals 6, uh, which again is a, a vertical line. We have y equals 2, which is a horizontal line. And then we have y is equal to x plus 1, which is a diagonal line. It has a y-intercept of 1, and it has a gradient of 1. So for every 1 you go up, uh, 1 that you go across, you go up 1. Lovely. Okay, and then once again, I'm going to use this method because I can see the mark scheme here. <laughs> it says the region R shown shaded or not shaded. So you can not shade the region um, and obviously get the marks. So we want X is less than or equal to 6, but I'm going to shade the bit which is in the other direction. So the bits which are greater than uh, 6. So all of this. Uh, yeah, and y is greater than or equal to 2, that's the bits above the line, so I'm going to shade the bits we don't want, which are all the bits below the line. And then here we are less than x plus 1, so those are the points which are below the line, so I'm going to shade in all the bits we don't want, which are all the bits above the line. Okay. And I think that will just about do it. So we've shaded all the bits we don't want, which means we're left with the region R that we do want. Beautiful. Okay, we go again, um, and we draw the line y equals 1. We draw the line x equals 2. Also, you may have been taught about a, sh a straight line or a dotted line. So straight lines are for uh, this, and dotted lines are for that. But have a look at the mark schemes. You, I don't think you get penalised for doing the wrong one. Um, y is 7 when x is 0. And x is 7 when y is 0. So this is that line. Beautiful. Okay, and once again, it's asking us to shade in uh, the region. No, 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 not ask us to shade in the region. Again, it says show, comma, by shading on the grid, comma, the region. So those commas are important. We just have to use a shading technique. And I'm going to go for, I'm going to shade in less than one because those are all uh, uh, the points which are not greater than or equal to one. 
I'm going to shade in the ones which are less than or equal to 2. Because again, I'm shading the bits which we don't want in order to leave the bit we do want unshaded. Um, this, this method is much less messy than trying to shade in all the stuff that you do want. Okay, uh, so all of that uh, is greater than 7. So we're left with all the stuff which is less than 7 and the stuff that satisfies all three and we call it R. Okay, next question. It says on the grid, draw the graph of 3x plus 2. So it has a gradient of 3 and a y-intercept of 2, which means it goes through the point 0, 2. And then for every 1 you go along, and notice that that's 1 uh, is worth 2 boxes on the x-axis, you need to go up 3. Uh, which is worth three boxes on the y-axis. Uh, then once again, you can go along one, up three, so you get another point. Along one, up three, you get another point. And then just rub these lines out, and then just connect them up to make a straight line. Like so. Uh, and they want it from where x is minus two, so where I am right now, all the way up to where x is three, which we've gone up to. Uh, perfect, so that's the line drawn. Uh, no need for a table or anything like that. Just use the gradient and the intercept method. Um, and now it's asking us to mark with a cross a point which satisfies both of these inequalities. So this is the line x equals 2, which is a vertical uh, line, uh, which goes through x equals 2. And every point on that line, the x coordinate is um, 2. <coughs> So we want where uh, it is greater than that. So the x coordinates are the greater, so it's to the right. Uh, and we also want something where the y is greater than the diagonal line that we drew, so above the line. So we're looking at anywhere in this region here. Um, this is the region we're looking at. So this is to the right of the x line, uh, and it is above the uh, diagonal line that we drew. Uh, okay, perfect. So that's a little region that we're looking at. So um, I've got a mark with a point, uh, a mark with a cross, uh, the point P. So this will do it. That's a point and it's in the region. So that is all good. And that's the end of the question. Uh, we've got that one drawn already and it says draw this one. I'm going to use the cover method again. Uh, so X is zero tells me that 3y equals 12, which means y is equal to 4 when x is 0. So that's the point we need to plot. And cover this up. Uh, so when y is 0, 4x equals 12, which means that x equals 3. So that is the point we need to plot. So once you've got two points, you connect them up with a straight line, and it'll look something like this. Uh, and I'll just extend that the other direction as well. Looks good to me. Okay, um, and now we need to, um, again, not necessarily shade in, but use a shading technique to uh, do all four of these. Okay, so we also need y uh, is equal to minus 3. So that would be a line which goes across at uh, minus 3. So y is equal to minus 3, looks like that. And x is equal to 4 uh, would look like this. Okay, so we want the bits uh, which is less than... Four, so I'm going to get rid of all the stuff which is greater than 4. So all this stuff here, this can go. This is stuff which we don't want. And then uh, we want the stuff which is greater than minus 3. So I'm going to get rid of all the stuff which is less than minus 3. Okay, so that's gone. Um, and then... We want the stuff which is less than the 2x line. So I'm going to get rid of all the stuff which is greater than the 2x line. Uh, which is all this stuff above the 2x line. So we'll get rid of all this. Okay. Uh, and then finally, uh, this one, the line that we drew, we want the stuff which is below it. So we're going to get rid of the stuff which is above it. Just like that. Okay, perfect. So this is the region left over. We label it R. 
Uh, and we are done. Okay, uh, blah, 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 blah. Write down the three inequalities that define this. Well, we've already got this line here, uh, which is good. And that one has a gradient of three, so it must be this one. And we want the stuff which is below this line. So y is less than or equal to 3x minus 2 would be the first one. Okay, uh, the next line uh, which needs to be drawn on is this one. And that is the line x equals 3. And we want all the stuff which is less than in this direction. So those are all the numbers which are smaller than 3 on the x. So therefore, the symbol we use is less than or equal to 3. Um, again, these are shaded lines, so we would use equal to as well. Um, and then the next one is a line that goes across like this. And that looks like y equals 1. And we want all the stuff which is above that line, so therefore greater than or equal to 1. Simples. Okay, we go again, and we need to define the region. So we start off with the one that they have already told us what the, what the uh, line is, which is very helpful. Um, and we know that these two coordinates need to add up to make 8. And we want all the bits which are below the line. So therefore, we put in a less than or equal to sign there. Okay, um, next one. Uh, we're going to need to count, work out what this line is ourselves, but it looks pretty straightforward. It goes through the origins, so there's no intercept, and it has a gradient of 1, uh, because you can see it goes through like 2, 2, and 4, 4, and 6, 6. So this is y equals x. And we want all the bits which are above this line. So therefore, we're going to use a greater than or equal to symbol, like so. And then the final one we're looking at is this line here. And this is the line x equals minus 1. And we want all the stuff to the right of this line, so where the x coordinates are larger than minus 1. So greater than or equal to. Perfect. Okay, so another defining one. These ones are more popular, I think, because they're easier to mark for the examiners. Um, we have, first off, let's just go with the one that they've already uh, given us, which is this line here. Um, and we want all the stuff which is below the line. So therefore, this is y is less than or equal to 2x plus 2. Okay, let's then pick the next one, which is this one here. Uh, and this one is y equals minus 3. But we want all the stuff which is above the line. So if you draw these arrows on perpendicularly to the line, you can tell whether or not we're looking at above or below. Uh, so here we're going to go greater than or equal to. Lovely. And then we're going to go again. Bosh down here. Now this one we have to work out ourselves. Uh, which isn't the most obvious. Uh, but you can tell that it goes through 1. So it's got an intercept of 1. And then for every 1 you go across, you go down 1. So for every one you go across, you go down one. For every one you go across, you go down one. Yes, that works out because the grid is the grid is a square grid. Um, so that is a gradient of minus one. So y is equal to minus one x plus the intercept of one. Okay, and as long as you write it so that the y is on the left side, you're just good to use this technique whereby you say, well all the points I want are below the line. So therefore, this is a less than or equal to symbol. Bosch. Uh, 